and welcome to day two. Well, no, three. Second full day in London, but it's the third day of this trip, third vlog of this trip. So welcome to the third vlog. Welcome to our second full day in England, but we are not spending the whole day in London today. We're starting off in London here at our hotel. Uh, Mom and I are both finishing up getting ready. We've got about 20 minutes before we wanted to leave. And we are heading this morning to Paddington Station because this morning we are going to Bath. I have not been to Bath since 2014. And that was just for the day. I actually went there twice that my study abroad program swung by Bath um, on the bus on the way home from Glastonbury, I think. But the bus driver really just like pulled up somewhere at the bottom of the hill of the Royal Crescent and was like, the Royal Crescent's up there if y'all wanna run up and take some pictures really quick. So we did and that was a rough day for me for other reasons we won't get into in this vlog. Um, so I was not as excited because I was like, I've already been here. I just want to get back to Oxford because <laughs> um, I was really not in a good mood that day or that afternoon. The day had been great. But yeah, so I've been to Bath and, but it's been a while. Mom's never been. So when we started planning this trip, we, we really wanted to do, we knew Oxford was a non-negotiable. We knew Oxford had to happen. And we really wanted to add in at least one other city that one of us or both of us had never been to. Both of us really wanted to go to York. Mom really wanted to go to Bath. I was very happy to go to Bath because it's been several years since I've been. It's been 10 years since I've been. So I feel like I'm due to visit again. So initially we thought we would do London for like six days and then go to Bath for a couple days and then go to York for a couple days and then go to Oxford for a couple days. And we kind of realized that we could extend our time in London and Oxford if we just did Bath as a day trip. I, as someone who's been to Bath already, I would recommend staying at least two or three days in Bath. Bath isn't a huge city, but there is a, a lot to do. And I feel like you could easily fill two or three days and be able to see the majority of the main sites in Bath. I feel like you could spend a week there and like really enjoy it um, and do things in the surrounding countryside and stuff. So like fully advocating for like spending as much time in Bath as you possibly can. But if you have to do it as a day trip from London, it's very easy to do and you can still see a lot of things. It's what I did before. I felt like when I spent the day out there with my friend 10 years ago, we managed to see the assembly rooms, the fashion museum, the Royal Crescent, the Roman baths. Um, we walked around the city center, saw the outside of the abbey. Like, I felt like I got to see a good amount of Bath in the one day. I saw the main kind of sights that as an American who's watched one too many, is there such a thing? One too many Jane Austen films? I don't think so, but as someone who's seen a lot of Jane Austen film adaptations, um, and a lot of movies set or shot in Bath, um, I felt like I'd gotten, I got to see a lot of that. And so I really enjoyed it. So I think we'll be good doing it for the day. We're going to have, I think we get there um, a little bit, like around 1130. And then we leave at 644 as our train back. So we'll have a little over six hours total, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but I think we'll be able to see quite a bit. That being said, I don't know how much we're actually going to do. <laughs> Mom and I might have overdone it yesterday. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's vlog, what was supposed to be just a kind of really casual, really easy mosey and wander around um, Bloomsbury and Russell Square and Holborn and the area where our hotel is, we went off in search of Daunt books, which no regrets, none at all but it just ended up being a lot farther than we thought. And then we thought because Daunt Books was so close to Regent's Park, well, let's just go to Regent's Park. And yeah, go watch that vlog if you haven't. It was a fun day. I do not 
regret the day. If I have any regrets, it's that we probably should have walked back to the tube with Tamsin and then just taken the tube home <laughs> back to the hotel instead of walking all the way back to the hotel. Because I was still feeling okay. I was feeling tired as we were leaving the park, but it was on the walk home from the park that I started to feel really tired. So yeah, it is what it is. We made decisions, now we're living with them. I was in a lot of fibro pain last night. That was not ideal, but, and I didn't get a very good night's sleep. So I'm operating on six hours and 17 minutes. Two hours of deep sleep, which isn't terrible, but also isn't the best. I'm so distracted because you guys are so on the wonk and I don't know how to fix you. I've got you propped up. Let me show you. This is my tripod because I did not bring a tripod, but you're in this dip and it's just not working. Um, and I feel like you're not very level and that is bothering me. Ooh, okay. Maybe we have figured out the solution to the lack of a tripod. That is a little bit better. We're gonna work with that. Okay, continuing on. So yeah, I'm. we're both pretty tired. We're, I, I'm in a lot of pain. I don't know how much pain mom is in this morning. I, my pain is better, but I did keep waking up a couple times throughout the night, just like my legs, my hips, my feet, like everything hurt. I'm wearing my Dr. Scholl's tennis shoes today. I've wrapped my feet in um, plasters from boots that we picked up yesterday. I definitely have cuts on the back of my heels. I also have a cut on a top, uh, on the top of my foot, just below my toes, that it looks like something on the inside of the top of the shoe was cutting into my foot. So, probably not gonna be able to wear those loafers again on this trip. Like, I'm probably gonna be wearing, I should like, and that just drives me nuts. Like, I should have just then packed just this one pair of shoes and saved myself the space and the weight in my luggage but oh well. So yeah, anyway, we're excited about bath. So as I said, it's just about time for us to go. Mom is finishing getting ready in the other room. I think I am pretty much ready. Um, so I can take you all over to the mirror for an outfit of the day. Cause again, I'm enjoying kind of pretending to be a fashion vlogger. I am totally not a fashion vlogger. Are you decent? I'm gonna say pain, what pain? Pain, what pain? Um, let me open up this mirror again so we don't have the glare the backlit. Hair is still very frizzy. I slept with a braid. I don't know how well that worked. I think it's looking a little bit nicer on camera than it looks in person, but maybe that's just wishful thinking. So, outfit of the day, starting with the shoes. Um, Dr. Scholl's for the win. These are super comfy, comfy. Um, like walking on a cloud. I'm probably going to completely wear down all the cushioning in these shoes by the end of the trip, but oh well. Um, tool, blush pink tool skirt from H&M, gifted to me by a friend. Um, she no longer wore it. She asked if I wanted it. It actually fit me, so it's mine now. Um, it's got a really cute satin waistband, which I like. Sorry. Um, plain white cotton shirt by Ava and Viv for Target. I'm wearing my um, bow necklace and bow earrings, if I can film this, I can't even see what I'm filming. Necklace, sunburn skin from yesterday, I have brought sunscreen, um, forgot to put it on. I've put sunscreen on my face and I'm bringing the body sunscreen with me. It's supposed to be cloudy in um, bath today, so we'll see. But yeah, I've got the matching bow earrings. Um, earrings and necklace are Ted Baker. Ring is rose gold and crystal from Swarovski. And then I've put on a little bit of makeup. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Mom is in a cute floral top and a tan floral skirt. And yeah, we're... Don't have my shoes on yet. Don't have our shoes on yet. But yeah, I think we're just about ready. So I'm going to go finish up with the last couple things I need to do before we leave. Oh, I haven't shown you um, other accessories. I will be wearing my navy cardigan because um, it's still a little bit cool out. And then I have a scarf by Ted Baker and I am carrying my blush pink Longchamp 
bag um, on this trip. So those are the rest of my accessories. And yeah, we'll finish getting ready and take you all to bath with us. We've made it to Bath. We've had a lovely train ride. <laughs> I'll fill you in more later, but we've spent the entire train ride chatting to a very nice guy on the train. And yeah, we've just got here. The weather's gorgeous. I need to take my cardigan off because I'm already feeling a bit warm. But we're gonna walk around and, I don't know, just explore city center a little bit and see what we want to do, probably get <clears throat> lunch in the next 30 minutes because it's 11 yeah. 30 so we've made decent time getting here and uh, as I said. yeah see you soon see you soon <laughs> Mom's taking pictures of this giant tree. The size of the trunk is massive. Mom said the. I have no idea. It could have been here since the Romans. It's huge. It's amazing. No, there's no props, there's nothing to keep it, like it's standing entirely on its own. This whole courtyard area or square is really pretty. And there's opera music in the background. <laughs> yeah. I keep losing her, here she is. You coming? You done taking pictures of trees for now? Yeah. Just for now. I'm sure there will be more of that. We have found a place for lunch. We are at Garrick's. We've been walking all around city center and kind of to the edge of city center. We need to see where we are in relation to the Royal Crescent. Yeah. And yeah, we've ordered fish and chips. We've got some still water and I've got a half pint of cider, of cider from Bristol. Um, so that should be yummy. And yeah, we're in the shade 
there's a breeze coming through the alley here. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really nice. Um, so we're gonna kind of collect ourselves and cool down with some ice water. We asked, I asked for ice because I, I need ice water right now. Um, and yeah, we're very excited. It's supposed to be the best fish and chips in Bath, but the girl was so cute. She's like, well, I didn't come up with that. So if you don't agree, it's not her fault. Um, I told her she's safe. Yeah. We yeah. Mom said she's safe because we haven't had fish and chips anywhere else in Bath. So as far as we're concerned, as long as they're good, they will be the best fish and chips we've had in Bath. <laughs> So yeah, we don't have a whole lot on our list of things we want to do today. The Roman Baths, for sure, and the Royal Crescent. Um, and then after that, we're just gonna kind of see. Um, but I am expecting my friend Cheska to arrive and come hang out with us for a few hours before our train home. So I'm very excited to see her and to meet her finally. I'm gonna try to do the best I can with vlogging today and talking to you throughout the vlog, um, but it might be short snippets of chat with longer snippets of vlog and b-roll and stuff in between, so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice in this little, tucked in this little alleyway here. Nice and quiet, we're definitely away from the crowds that were around the Abbey and the Roman baths, it was so, so busy there. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see if we have time. So, yeah, I think so. I've never been in. So mom's thinking, I hope you heard that. Mom's thinking of going into the Abbey. Definitely wanna walk around it and take some better pictures because we just passed by it really quick. We were, when we got here, it was, we've been wandering around for about an hour <laughs> trying to find a place for lunch. So we got here at about 11. Yeah. So yeah, it's we've already been here for an hour, but we're just sitting down to eat. We wanted to get lunch and then wander around and like do stuff. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's warm in the sun again, so I'm kind of clinging to the shade, but it is a beautiful day. Um, oh, we need to find um, Pulteney Bridge and there's a garden around there and the river waterfall thing that you were talking about. Um, it's, um, it's a bit that was also used in a scene in Les Miserables. Um, really? Yeah. It's a setting where a character does something <coughs> I don't want to say because it might be a spoiler for someone who's not seen or read Les Mis. Um, but yeah, so we're going to enjoy a nice yummy lunch and then get on with our sightseeing. lunch that was amazing right mama yes, it, was very good <laughs> it was very good we were defeated by the fish and chips neither of us could finish it now we're going up what looks like a pretty steep hill um, <laughs> we're heading to the Royal Crescent um, and I think we're gonna go th through the circus to get there both of which are kind of iconic bath landmarks so we're gonna walk very slowly up this hill, <laughs> but oh my gosh, the architecture is just spectacular. I do think we want to go that way. So yes, we're enjoying a lovely sunny day, very sunny day in Bath. Yesterday the forecast was for clouds, but I do not consider this cloudy at all, <laughs> um, but it's not super hot. So it feels okay, as long as we don't walk too fast. <laughs> so yeah, just, <sighs> it feels amazing to be here. Oh, I'm losing mom. There she is. <sighs> Coming slowly. Mom's probably going the more sensible pace. I'm probably going too fast, especially considering I'm talking. So I want to stop talking for a moment and focus on walking. But 
Yeah, so there's the, there's the Jane Austen Center there, and then Mary Shelley House of Frankenstein. Oh. It's just a few doors down. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. This is amazing. These trees are incredible. So this is the circus. All of these townhouses in a complete circle around a circle, because it's certainly not a square. <laughs> There's mom. And this is the hill we just came up, which looks deceptively not steep on camera, but it's steeper when you're walking. But these houses are just beautiful. I don't know how many of them are private homes still compared to hotels and holiday rentals, but it's just beautiful. And other than when there's a motorcycle or a car driving through, it's really quiet compared to other parts of Bath. <laughs> yeah. But oh, the architecture is just stunning. Like I love the tile walkway of this one, even though it needs some patching. It just oh, it looks so pretty. And I look at these houses and I just can't help but think of like the people who lived here in the past. And I love the detailing along the top of the columns here. Like the more you look at the building, the more you see like how intricate all the little details are. It's just incredible. Like, oh, this one's cute. They've done a nice little garden down here on the little lower courtyard and then they've got looks like peonies in their window and hydrangeas in that one like I see houses like this and I just think of a different life I could live if I had probably millions of pounds would be needed <laughs> to live somewhere like this but uh, I mean these trees though I just, I think if I did live in one of these houses, I would be out across the way at the base of these trees almost every day. <sighs> it's amazing. Um, what do you think, Mama? I like it. You like it? It's very pretty up here. It is very pretty. The sound of drilling is killing the vibe just a tiny bit. Um, but do you want a picture? Pause and take some pictures. We've made it to the Royal Crescent, which is looking very royal and very crescenty. Um, <laughs> it's looking very lovely. It's looking very, very lovely. But because it is such a nice sunny day, everybody is hanging out on the, the lawn here. And you can see through the trees, there are some tour buses. This is where our tour bus guide um, or driver stopped my group and I when we were coming back from Glastonbury. And so we all ran up here to take pictures of the Royal Crescent. Yeah, yeah he just stopped there. He's like, okay, I'll give you all 15 minutes to just hop off and take some pictures and some selfies. And so, yeah, it's like there's some and it, it was probably about the same amount of people here that day. It was very busy that day as well, even though it was evening. 
but yeah it's just beautiful so we've just come up from this way and I need to check the map and figure out how to get back down to city center I forgot there's a museum up here and I just don't think we have the time because um, my friend is gonna be here soon and we want to do the Roman baths um, and also just kind of walk around the city center a little bit there was a garden area um, and a bridge that I wanted to show mom and their shops along that bridge. So I'm just afraid to take up any more time up here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Puppy? oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a little white fluffy puppy <laughs> over there, I think. So yeah, we're, we're going to start slowly walking back down towards city center because I think that'll be easier to meet Cheska. But we've already decided that I think our next trip, we're going to spend a few nights in bath because I've done bath as a day trip twice now and you can do bath as a day trip but there there is a lot more to see and do here but than you, you think museums, you don't, you don't yeah if you want because like the Roman baths say to allocate 90 minutes to two hours and like we only have about six hours total here today so the time goes by very quick oh mom come back here I want to take a picture oh, okay. selfie time Okay, so we ended up going into the number one Royal Crescent to do the tour. And I'm so glad we did because it was really, really cool. So it's giving you an inside look of the life of a Georgian family uh, during the 1760s, 1770s. It's pre-Revolutionary War because they mentioned the upstart General George Washington. And there's different characters throughout the story of the, each member of the family. And then each room has a pre-recorded audio narration dramatization that plays on a loop. So the tour is designed to last about 55 minutes if you go through each room and listen to the full narrative story. And then you move to the next room and a bell chimes and it starts the next audio thing for the next room um, so you can go either at that pace you can go faster you can go slower we listened to the full story of the first room and then both of us because we knew Cheska was pretty much almost right outside both mom and I were ready to like move forward I told mom she could take her time but I was gonna speed through because I mostly just wanted to see the rooms like the fabric on that bed and curtains was just amazing so I just wanted to see the interior design and the architectural details and the molding and the fabrics and the chandelier and all of that stuff. I was less into the history narrative dramatization thing they were doing. I would totally go back and stop and like listen to the narrative story in each room. I do think it's a really, really cool concept for a museum and I think it's really well done that you can kind of go at your own pace. So totally worth it, would definitely go back. You can see there's like these footsteps at different points or footprints throughout. And so you kind of follow the footprints. They're all numbered so you know to go from number one to number two to number three and so on. Um, you go up through the different levels of the main house and then down the servant stairs into the kitchens. Everything is kind of designed and staged as it might have been, as it would have been back during the Georgian period, which was really, really cool. It was very interesting to see how the kitchen would have been used, how things would have been set up, how the food would have been stored. Um, this was all the irons for the ironing and the mending. And then this was the housekeeper's room, which was really cool. And then the housekeeper's room leads into the like China pantry area. So yeah, from a historical interior design perspective, I loved this tour and would highly recommend it. This is the servants hall with the rules that the servants had to follow, some of which were pretty funny. Um, this room also doubles as their education space um, I think for like group tours and stuff. So that was really interesting. And then you exit out through the lower ground courtyard area and there's a toilet and then the stairs go up to the exit and the shop. 
Um, so really nice. The gift shop was amazing. Love the gift shop. Um, and then by the time we were done here, it was time to dash across the street and Cheska was waiting somewhere outside for us and I was so excited to see her. All right, we're done. So we ended up doing the number one Royal Crescent, which I would highly recommend. We sped through it. It would normally take about 55 minutes if you stay and listen to each little narration scene in each one. But we halfway through the first one, we were like, oh, let's get going. And we had a very special guest waiting for us outside. So just as we were going in, she was texting to say, I've just arrived in Bath. I knew she was going to be up here pretty quickly. So we sped around. How long were you waiting? Only 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes. So I've got Cheska <laughs> with me. Hello. Who watches the vlogs, but has never been in one. This is our first time meeting in person. Yep. We have been friends for, I don't know how many years now. When did you finish your PhD? 2018. Uh, did you find me so right before, after, no, before, before graduation? That, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's been, it's been a long time. Cheska did a PhD as well here in Bath, right? Yes, uh, no, in no. Leicester. Okay, Leicester. but you did undergrad yes, here? Yes, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, so Cheska and I have been friends. How did you find me? Where did we find each other? So it was on a, was it on a forum or a PhD? Oh, it was that Academiology um, Instagram. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I thought it was Instagram because yeah. you followed my Instagram first, but then you started following YouTube. Yes, yeah. So, and then sometime, was it during the pandemic that yes, we started, started just started chatting. doing Zoom calls, yeah. like Zoom <laughs> became a thing so it's like hey let's just zoom and yeah we've become really good friends and now i feel famous yeah yeah <laughs> so jessica watches all the vlogs so i'm like do you want to be in one <laughs> so yeah we had fun at number one royal crescent really glad we did that because we will be back to bath but it felt like we're right there mom by the way is right here <laughs> So it felt like we, you know, we're right here. We may as well. I hadn't yet heard from Cheska, although I heard from you literally like just as 30 you seconds did. after we paid yeah. and walked in. I'm like, oh, well, if you want to join us, I'm not sure how long it was going to take. So it worked out. We did visit the gift shop. I did buy some stuff. You'll see that in the halls later. <laughs> I just want it to be on record, though, in front of mom. I showed great restraint in there. Yes, you did. I only bought three things. I could have bought dozens. Is that because there's still many days of your holiday? Yes. Yeah, we're only on day, <laughs> the second full day in the country and only our second city. We she, still have a big shopping day planned for tomorrow in London. So. My suitcase was I, I only saw, half I full. I that yesterday. Yeah, it was oh, only half it? full. I mentioned that yeah. in in the video that I put up yesterday. So yeah, you'll see the rest of the, well, by the time this goes up, you'll have already seen all the packing videos. But yeah, it is beautiful out here. It was getting a little bit warm inside. It is um, warm. But now there's, we're out in the open air and there's a breeze. So we're gonna enjoy a slow meandering walk back towards city center. I need water. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few shops, I think. On the okay, way so we'll town. find a place um, on the way into town. But yeah, I think we're going to still try to do the Roman baths. You up for that? Yeah, yeah, okay, definitely. cool. So let's get going. Mm -hmm. So we enjoyed a beautiful walk back down towards city center. I was obsessed with the trees. I was also obsessed with the squirrel detailing on this shop window. It was so cute. Um, we got near the Abbey, but um, went stopped first in the Roman baths. The architectural details in here, the combination of Georgian with Old Roman, um, but the baths, according to the tour, are actually very Victorian. So it was the Victorians who kind of designed things. Um, a lot of what you see um, is built on top of the Roman. So there's a mix of different architectural stylings, which was really, really interesting. And then behind it, you have the abbey kind of looming over. So the different layers of history of um, mid Roman, medieval, Georgian, Victorian, very, very cool. Inside the Roman baths is really interesting. There's lots of history, lots of things to learn. There's a um, self-guided audio tour, so your little handset that you're given, you just key in the number of whatever area you're in and want to learn more about, and so that was really cool. This space, they have like this metal walkway suspended over the old Roman baths area, so you don't actually walk on them, but you're walking above them and kind of in the space, which was really, really cool. And then you have the outside here in the central courtyard.
Oh, I went into movie by mistake. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's it was just really, really cool. I've done the Roman baths before, but it's been several years. As always, had to stop through the gift shop. Um, and then we ended up at the Abbey. Oh. Okay, we are done at the Roman baths, and now we're in front of the Abbey. Mom wants to go inside, so we're gonna go inside here really quick. And then I am desperate to sit down. <laughs> I'm desperate for a drink. Yeah, I'm wondering, I see on that side. How much is it? Oh, that's not bad. Is there anything? <laughs> we could. You want to go in, so we'll go in. Mom wants to see it, especially since it's a sunny day. The stained glass windows are probably going to look really pretty inside. So we went in, um, and I'm really glad Mom wanted to do this. Mom was right, as you're about to see. The stained glass was spectacular with how sunny it was outside. I mean, let's just have a moment. After the Abbey, we walked over towards Pulteney Bridge and saw um, the river. This was the waterfall thing um, that I was mentioning earlier that was used um, to double for the Seine. In the film version of Les Miserables, there's a key moment with Javert that happens here. Don't want to spoil anything. But as you can see, I was just living my best life. I was so happy. It was such a magical day in Bath and so great to spend that time with mom and with Cheska. Then we walked along Pulteney Bridge, um, which has this gorgeous flower shop, which I was very happy to see was still there because I remembered that from my first visit. And then we stopped and got um, a mocktail and some water and Cheska and I split a little side of chips before it was time to head back to the train station. I was trying to figure out. Okay, it's a very tired mommy and Andrea. Yes. <laughs> very hot and tired mommy and Andrea. Mainly from coming around water and I feel like Waiting I'm for our train back to Paddington. But we've had a lovely day, a lovely time with Jessica. We're yes. so glad she could come and hang out with us. Um, it certainly is pretty. I love all the hills. I it's don't beautiful. Like walking them, but... No. <laughs> we didn't get to walk around the outskirts of Bath as much today as we would have liked, but this means we've got to come back and do more like walking and hiking around the surrounding area. But I'll flip you around so you can see. The view from the train station is actually really pretty. So we're at the end of the platform and you've got the hills back there. Really beautiful. No, um, oh, I don't know. It's all just so beautiful out here. Um, Lake City Center is all back this way over that bar, but looking out away from the city is just gorgeous. So we're waiting for the train. And at least once we're on the train, we can just sit for like an hour and 15 minutes before we've got to go back to the hotel.
And just like that, we are home, or temporary home. We're back in the hotel. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I probably should just vlog tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm gonna be busy starting the next vlog, so I just want to finish this vlog. <laughs> but I am so tired. And Side I'll... stage whisper. Mm-hmm. We're taking it so easy. We're taking it so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was willing to just spend the day sitting in coffee shops and bath, but mom had a list. And yeah. I had a list? Yeah, you had a list. I thought you had the same list. Well, I was willing to go all along with your list. I did drag you from the Roman baths into the cathedral. The Abbey. It's not the a Abbey. cathedral. The Abbey. The Abbey. I mean, yeah. that was, you know, 200 yards. <laughs> yeah. Get back. So, so it yeah. It wasn't even the length of a football field. So. Mom, mom, my feet are so sore. Mom yeah. wanted to see the ro the Royal Crescent and the Roman Baths. And to be fair, I think those were the only two things on her list. But they are quite like on the opposite sides of city center. Like the Roman Baths are like right smack in the middle of city center and the royal crescent is kind of up a ways so i have tried to talk to you throughout the day i'm not sure how successful i was at that definitely gotten sunburned i think my forehead has gotten more red even though i did actually put on sunscreen on my face today i didn't put any on my body i should have i will try to do that tomorrow um, I brought it with me thinking, if I need to, I'll put it on and then completely forgot about it for the rest of the day. So it was just weight in my bag, literally dragging me down. My shoulder is so sore. I have used this handbag for all of my other trips or a different color, but you know, basically the same style of handbag for all of my past trips since 2015 when I bought my first Longchamp tote. For some reason this trip, it is just destroying my shoulder. So I don't know what I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be a long <laughs> couple of weeks, which, you know, great. I don't mind if it, maybe I don't mind being in pain this whole time if the pain actually makes the days feel like they're going by a little bit more slowly. <laughs> um, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be in pain the whole time and it's still gonna go by really fast. Okay, mom. Sorry. It's very distracting when I hear you talking to yourself. <laughs> I wish there was a door here that I could shut. Like the hotel room is huge as you saw in the first one, but she's literally just around the corner. I'm not gonna show you because she's in her pajamas, but she's literally just around the corner here on the other couch. So if you hear something, someone muttering in the background, that's mom. Mutter. Mutter. Mutter is muttering. Um, <laughs> we're both so loopy right now. We are so tired, but yeah, so today, starting with the train ride, I'm not going to narrate the whole day because you've seen most of it, but just the things that you didn't see that weren't in the vlogs. I ended up not vlogging a whole lot of the train ride to Bath because we ended up having a conversation for the entire train ride with this very nice guy that just, we kind of fell into a conversation. I started it, it's my fault, <laughs> but I couldn't resist. I mean, he kind of started it because our tickets, for some reason, we weren't booked together. We were booked on like opposite seats. It was really weird, like across the aisle. And this guy came up and was like, well, I'm booked in that one. Um, pointing to one of the seats next to the one that mom was booked in but this one the seat across the table because it was a table with two seats facing each other on either side of the table but this one's available so I can just sit here and you can have that one so that meant that mom and I could sit on the one side and he was sitting across from me in the other window seat and so as we're sitting down he pulls a, a book out of his bag and it was 
a book by David Gauntlet, um, Making is Something, Making is Meaning, I can't remember the title, but it's a book that I've read <laughs> back during my PhD on my course and for one of my graduate seminars. It was just so surreal to see this because it's not even a new book at this point. Like it was new back in 2014. I think when I was reading it for school maybe I think I was I think I was taking that class in 2013 it might have been my first year of my PhD or the second semester like early 2014 so I guess it was ages ago and I just I'm sitting there like of all the books this guy could be reading what are the chances it's like this particular book and so I just I couldn't help myself I just said that that's a pretty good book and I kind of then added on, you know, I read it several years ago. He's like, I started I started it several years ago and, and didn't finish it. And we talked about the book and then it just snowballed from there. We just ended up talking for the whole like hour and 20 minutes of the train journey and then said goodbye at Bath train station. <laughs> he went his way, we went our way, but it made the train journey really nice. I love chatting with strangers, especially strangers in other countries and just his story was very interesting. What he did, what we talked about was very interesting. We were talking about education and stuff like that and creativity and, and stuff. and kind of felt like, oh gosh, like is my brain still capable of having these kinds of <laughs> discussions? Because it felt, you know, it was a pretty academic, but it was really fun, it was really nice. So that was the train ride there. And then we walked through Bath, we took a while finding a place for lunch. Lunch was fantastic, I don't know if I expressed that enough at the moment in the vlog, but lunch was amazing the fish and chips there the chips in particular those were proper chips the fish and chips we had here at the hotel on the first night those were honestly more like french fries they weren't like the really good thick cut chips they were good they tasted amazing but they weren't like they weren't these chips <laughs> these chips in bath were unbelievable the the server there the staff seemed really friendly the girl who was taking care of us was really friendly turns out her best friend is from arizona so we had some arizona connection there which was really funny um it's it's so strange because whenever we come here we always meet at least one person somewhere on our trip who's been to arizona or knows about arizona or something like we've had random taxi drivers who just been back from scottsdale and it's like wow like not only do you know phoenix but you know scottsdale no one outside of arizona knows scottsdale which is technically the city where i live so it's just funny meeting a, a young woman in bath who knows not only that arizona is a state but like kind of knows Arizona in a way. So after lunch, we went up to the circus and then the Royal Crescent. It was feeling pretty warm by that point, but really nice. I think in the vlog, I said we weren't gonna go into the museum at number one Royal Crescent. And then we just couldn't resist. I'm glad that we went into the Royal Crescent. I think if you are visiting Bath, and if you have at least, you know, if you have an hour or even less, we rushed Ted, through it in less. What? Ted Baker London is closing all locations. What? Yeah, I guess I got the email. I don't know if that's U.S. locations or London locations too. Well, that's really sad. Although, to be honest, I really haven't been that impressed with Ted Baker over the last few years. Yeah, they have they strayed away from there. So I'm kind of not surprised if they're struggling a little bit and closing. Anyway, that's a tangent. We'll probably that's talk about hope. yeah. We'll start. We'll we'll probably talk about that in a Did future you show vlog. Ted Baker, if so, mention it in the comments. No. Yeah, <laughs> I think I definitely would go back and go through it more slowly and like really pay attention to all the little details. But today it just felt like. It was a choice between doing it quickly or not doing it at all, so we just sped through it. Their gift shop was really good, and as I think I said earlier, I showed great restraint. But yeah, it was really nice. Then we met up with Jessica and had quite a few hours with her. I'm so, Jessica, I know you're gonna be watching this. Thank you so much for coming to Bath to meet us. We just had the best day with her. 
so good to finally meet her. She's someone I've known for several years now, but only through online and through texting and um, video calls and conferencing and stuff like that. So we had a really, really good time just chatting about everything it seemed like and she got on really well with mom so we got to see tamsin yesterday cheska today we're gonna see tamsin again tomorrow so lots of social time and it was just really really nice to see to finally like see in person someone who has become such a good friend but yeah it was just so nice so she hung out with us pretty much up until it was time for us to go back to the train station. We ended up at a bar and restaurant across the street from the train station, got some waters, I got a mocktail, and we split a little side of french fries and just relaxed and chatted for a little bit longer. And then mom and I enjoyed a nice quiet train ride home. Now we're home and it is 10.05. On the train, I was like, we should really try to be in bed by 10. I haven't even taken my shower yet. Mom hasn't been able to call dad to check in with him like she's been doing each night because I've been talking to you all. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. <laughs> if you enjoyed this vlog, how do we end these things? If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate both of those things. There's still tons more UK England vlogs coming where on the one hand it feels like we've been away for a week already because we've done so much in just these first two full days but it's only been two days we still have a, a, like almost two full weeks left so yeah subscribe if you're not subscribed because these are just getting started leave me a train emoji um, for our first train ride. Um, it was feeling so nostalgic. I will probably talk about that in another vlog because I think that feeling is just going to continue throughout this whole trip. But yeah, leave me a train emoji in honor of our first train ride of this trip. I'm now going to go take a shower and get ready for bed and I will see you all in the morning. Thank you very much for watching this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Want to say goodbye mom? Goodbye everyone! Goodbye!